Tipped off by his terrorist pals. The mole was ready for him. He had heavy-duty combat grunts with him. Once again, Zerk security force got their asses handed to him. Outcome. Train go boom. We lost him. He slipped away. You remember Specialist Sarah Hall? She's gonna walk you through the next part. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. Before DNI, you had to read books. In the Academy, Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciating. And that takes time. Time is something we don't always have. Okay, new blood. From this point on, the simulation deviates from actual events. Not that it's gonna feel any less real. Use your imagination. Sending his location to your HUD. Come on now. Pick up the trail. Let's pull, okay? Heads up. Hostile, second floor. Check your fire. Civilians are not targets. Welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 3, my Let's Play series that I just started and... I still have line of sight. Thanks, Abigail. If you remember, that's the name I gave her. Boys hacking the ZSF talents. What does that tell you? Running scared. Cut sitting behind a computer. He could only be controlling them if he's got a DNI too. You're a smart one, Newblood. I'll give you that. Son of a bitch is still moving. Use that billboard to get over the maglev train. Run in parallel. Raw one, raw one, raw one. Get out of my way! Hey, old Zurich, move. All right, activating a new cyber ability. System paralysis. Get out of my way! I'm on a mission! I'm on a mi my mission. Oh, let's... Let's use the force to take these planes down. He's doing this old school. Use system paralysis. Piece of cake. Your cyber abilities don't come for free. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Okay, thank you. But old fashioned? How is this old fashioned? I'm using the force in a video game to make planes crash into each other. How is that old fashioned? He's gonna get away if you don't pick up the pace. Picking up, the, picking up the pace, picking up the pace. Don't lose him now, newbie. That's all you said in the last mission as well. That's why I gave the guy Leslie the name, and I gave you Abigail. Killing those robots, going up the stairs. Grab him, new blood. Oh, come the wall. Okay, let's get him. I see him. Chance. Take him down. Come here, you! Come here! Down, go! Didn't work out so well, huh? I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not before you get the information we need. I don't think he's in any condition to talk. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Buried beneath layers of security protocols, the subject's DNI records cam footage of the user's past experiences. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep into the subject's memories, their thoughts, even their subconscious. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject, but the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist.
A few minutes ago, you knew nothing. What do you know now? I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. ZSF finally tracked down the terrorists to this location. For their sake, they really wish they had. You're still here, huh? Pity. I bet D has a hundred that you'd be dead by now. Funny man, Specialist Peter Moretti. He's gonna help you understand how much of a badass motherfucker you are now. But remember, we still don't have the last piece of the puzzle. How in the hell they got the explosives on board the train? So we're clear? When this is over? You owe me a hundred. Back to business. As you know, one of the perks of being Black Ops is having access to the latest in experimental weaponry. Firearms may be your go-to choice for a weapon in a fight. But with DNI, your mind truly is your greatest weapon. Let's do some damage. Not bad. We got a new cyber ability to play with. Demolition. Give it a spin on those enemies ahead. <laughs> the most fun you can have with your pets, right? Already starting out with an ambush. Look at this. I'm already almost dead. Look at this. They gave me a light machine gun. It reloads so slow. I'm using. The force tactic that sets apparently these robots on fire. It sets them on fire. I'm almost dead. We're starting out with an ambush with these robots. And this game is honestly amazing. I am having so much fun with this game already. This campaign is so interesting. This virtual reality. You're talking to someone. Then bam. It like shifts to another character. It just. The gameplay text like that is just so amazing. Just like your other courses. Select your loadout. Use these systems to seize the tactical advantage, whatever the opposition. Okay, I've loaded a second cyber ability into your core. Fireflies, a swarm of incendiary nanobots. I can see why everyone has requested this game. Oh, I think it was talking. Sorry about that. But apparently now I have a new power as they just said a firefly tactic, which... If you haven't played multiplayer, you can see those like fireflies going around. They just like attack these enemies. Hopefully, I'll be doing it. Okay, let's see. If I find an enemy, I will do it. I'll activate it. Let's see if I can find an enemy. Oh, I see tons of them, but they're too far. So let me crouch down. Let me reload. Oh, what are you doing over here? Get down. Get pixelated. Oh, another robot, get down. Oh, grenades, I'm almost dead. I gotta crouch, I gotta heal up. I gotta heal up. Let me crouch and still kill more guys. Okay, there's another robot. Let's see if I can get him. Okay, another robot. Another robot. And just a normal guy. <laughs> normal guys are easy. Let's hack into this. Using smoke grenades. Switching to your EV helps whenever you're blind, whether in the dark or in smoke. How about that? Now you never have to worry about what's lurking. Night vision goggles. I didn't know I was playing some Splinter Cell. I thought this was Call of Duty. Coming through the walls. Turn off your EV. This. This like these gameplay tactics with the night vision is just so cool. <laughs> That's what this basically what this whole commentary's been about. Look at these that guys, they're hiding behind the shield, they're running around. 
I'm almost dead. I'm losing health. Get down, robot. My computer's going crazy. Sorry about that. Okay, get you. Get you. Get your friend. Get your buddy. Okay, guys, hopping through the window. Okay, I was about to shoot. That's my teammate. Party ain't over yet. Let's move. I got bots moving that rail car. Shred them. Let's shred some bots. There we go, coming down the stairs. Look at that, that's the death stairwell. That, let's just say that's the D stairwell. The D stands for death. What do you think it would stand for? <laughs> Target enemy robotics. There's no one there, so let's see if we can get a little closer. Let's see if we can get some a closer action. More face-to-face -face action. Looks like they got guys. into the water treatment plant through here. On me. Okay, let's fall down here. Another hundred meters. Get those cardio. Get those legs moving. Keep your fucking head down. You may be a badass, but you're not immortal. Bullet to the head. I'll still get you a date with your maker. How's on the work floor? Everything's just blowing up in here. Look at these like these cargo bob like tanks. They're moving around. At least I have the special abilities, but look at this. Everything's blowing up. There's a grenade. I might die. Nope, I'm healing. Okay, I'm fully healed. There's guys on top. They have the high ground. They have the higher advantage. But I'm going to see if I can get the higher high ground. Look at all these. Look at all these robots. Everyone's shooting at me. Everyone is shooting, coming all around. Oh, I got you. Oh, there's grenades. Oh, I got to hop down. I got to heal. Okay, I'm back for round two. Oh, the robot just jabbed me. He just jab stepped me. Okay, run down. I'm losing health again. I'm a noob at this. I gotta run down and regain some health. And I gotta inspect to see which area is a better way to go. I'm doing my special abilities. I'm doing the swarm that I learned this mission. I'm see if I can make it make me have a statistical advantage. Go fireflies. Go my minions. Look at this. It just makes it so easy now. They're burning up. They're distracted. I can just walk on my way over here. Look at this. I can just shoot them there not even paying attention. Look at this tank. Get blown up. There's my teammate. He's doing work as well. Let me just reload behind this wall and then make my way. Making my way downtown. Making my way to. Let me just take out Good the robot. Interface with that door for me. What is this place? This. This is where it all went down. The computer over there should give us some insight into how they got the explosives on board. Go interface. the robots. They hacked the security robots. They brought the explosives on board. <sighs> you want to hear something ironic? The reality was the terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, we probably wouldn't even have the Cyber Soldier program. Hang in there. 725. Got about five minutes. You've been here before, New Blood. Let's see if you can change history. All robots should be considered hostile. Trust me, they'll consider you as much. Take down as another one of your cyber abilities. Try it out on those bots. Watch the sieves, you're getting a little careless with your fire. Watch your flank, they're coming through the window. Nice, you get the hang of these tips down. Get down, 
So that's a paradox that's very interesting. So because of the explosive train attack that I was there, I remember in the beginning of the game when the robot took away my arm, then it was like I was with that guy who I call Leslie on the train. Then like the attack happened with the explosives. So because we had that program where I'm able to like control stuff with my mind, it's like a virtual reality type of thing. All that happened because of this robot attack and now I'm stopping it. That's very interesting. So we have this like takedown ability that the game gave me so I'm able to like, you know, Mike Tyson punch these robots. Very interesting. Let's get up on the top. This train, rem I don't know why, but this train, especially the environment, the civilians, it reminds me of Splinter Cell Blacklist when you're in Philadelphia, you're stopping a bomb bombs expert through trains and you're just going through all these tunnels all these rooms just trying to stop these enemies use concussive wave to take out a group of hostiles at once <laughs> my shotgun game on with these headshots with these robots gave me some real action get on my head shape head shotgun game on point maybe I should do a multiplayer series and then create a shotgun class because this this gun's pretty nice is that the bomb things booby trap if I hack it try to move it or detach the car it's gonna blow it's too much even with the computer in my head there's not enough time it's actually very simple. Wait. This is a maglev trap. If I reverse the polarity on just this car... DNI might show you all the options. But only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Sometimes... You have to let go. Taylor. How's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. You're being prepped for surgery now. It's gonna be okay. Hendrix wasn't even injured on the mission. He volunteered for this. Increasing prevalence of drones and combat robots has significantly reduced the reliance on human infantry. As I said before, we have no further comment to make at this time. We will continue to explore avenues of diplomatic negotiations. The WA have denied sending troops to the region, stating that they are still seeking a diplomatic solution to the standoff. We are coordinating closely with our allies in order to provide tactical support where needed. How long have we been doing this, Hendrix? Five years, give or take. Sounds about right. You ever think about where we're going next? Nope. You know me. I just go with the flow. <laughs> 